Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm out on the banks of the canal just seeing how many fish I can catch on lures today. I brought my super ultralight setup. It's a 0.3 gram setup which I'm using today. Some one inch baits and I'm just seeing whatever I can catch. And I'm gonna be taking you through the gear that you need to do this for yourselves and the technique that comes in handy when it comes to finding and catching as many fish as you possibly can on lures on your local bodies of water as well. Let's crack on. Right, so first of all, we're gonna look at what main gear we're gonna need. Rod, reel, luggage, net, etc. So the rod I brought with me today is an Abu Garcia Carabas, and that is rated 0.3 to 2.5 grams. So it's a super ultralight rod, really, really sensitive, perfect for chucking around those tiny little micro jigs that weigh under a, under an, under a gram in weight. The reel I've got on here is a size 1000 Abu Garcia Superior reel loaded with six pound mono that's loaded with mono because i use it for my trout fishing but it's just as good for using it on the canal when i'm casting super ultralight baits uh, for perch and things like that i don't seem to find i have that much of an issue um but if i was just using it solely for the canal i probably would have a really light braid on there maybe a five pound braid and then i'm fishing a three pound fluorocarbon leader um, just I want to go as light as possible when you're chucking these tiny baits after small perch light is the key fish as light as possible and you'll catch more fish so the luggage that I've got with me fishing really light if you're fishing with light baits laws and you're walking up and down the canal a lot you don't want a great big heavy rucksack on your back I've just got a small side bag it's a Rapala bag here it also has a little velcro straps to attach pliers things like that so it's easily accessible pouches are easily accessible on the side just swing it around I've got all my baits my line hooks etc in there nice and easy right now let's go on to the laws and then we'll try catching some fish and go through the techniques that I like to use so let's go down to the main end of the rig where all the business happens so I'm fishing a, a three pound leader there it's a leader designed for trout suffix and then I'll think to fish really really small jig heads not much bigger than a size eight hook really when I'm doing my ultralight jigging and um, we've got some crazy fish tungsten jig heads there that's what I'm fishing at the moment that's what I've got on a little bit pricey but they really do do the job you get a smaller weight on the end not as visible to the fish but yeah it still has plenty of weight to be able to cast out it's really really good hooks and I've got some um, AGM own brand hooks as well size 10 and down to the laws the ones that I brought with me today, I'm not going with much of a variety, it's just to give you an idea of what's out there. I've got a 1.2 inch Tipsies, which you'll have seen in other videos. I've caught pike to probably six pound on these. I've had rudd, I've had loads of perch, uh, chub, you name it, I've caught on them. And I brought some little crazy fish creature baits. There we go. All these baits are only just over one inch in length. Now, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, on colour preference. I just like to have light and dark colours just in case the water conditions are different. Let's say the water is like really dark and murky, I might want to use a bright white law. Uh, if it's ginger and clear, I might to go as natural as possible, maybe fish like a motor oil pattern or something like that. Um, but what I tend to find is a common colour that always works, or two colours that rather, but that always, always work for perch are white and black. White is probably my favourite colour for perch all around. I've had so many big perch on white. That's probably the main one I'll be using today. Are these little white creature baits. Um, but yeah, pretty much if you're going for small perch, tiny little ones, I don't think they really mind what colour your bait is. Because they tend to be pretty ravenous. They tend to go around in big shoals, especially the small perch go around in big shoals. And um, if one of them goes for your bait, they all tend to come flying in. And I don't think it matters what you've got on the end from time to time. But yeah, definitely you've got to have small hooks and you've got to have small baits. Now, I'm not sponsored at all, but if you go over to AGM Fishing, I'll leave a link in the description below. That's where I get all my ultralight baits and hooks. I get them all from AGM because it's the only place where I can find a good variety of baits. So I'll leave that link in the description below. So without further ado, let's go and find some fish, find a location where I think there might be a lot of small perch, but generally you find them all the way along our canal systems. Um, and then we'll get some fishing done and hopefully we'll bag up a lot of fish. So the things we're gonna look out for, pretty obvious really. Big shoals of fry in the edge, it's that time of year when there's gonna be lots of small fry from this year's spawn and uh, the big shoals of perch will be hanging around them waiting to pick them off. So that's what I'm looking for down in the margins, um, but also fish topping, any bait fish we see scattering around on the surface, 
obviously signs that there could be predatory fish around there and that's where we're going to be targeting today. Let's go find one of them spots and we'll see if we can get some fish out. You can find the fish yourself, you can find shoals of bait fish, find the fry or spot perch out. But if you can't do that, one of the best places to hit is a bridge. It's absolutely perfect for small perch, and even though you can't see much, normally there's a few hiding underneath bridges. Oh no, oh no, it's a pike and it bit me off. One of my tungsten weights, so thanks for that, Mr. Pike. There's a fish. Oh, it's a pike. It's a tiny, tiny little pike. Oh, we got him, we got him. What a beautiful little fish. One of the many species you can catch using micro baits. Look at that. Proper mini monster. Let's get him unhooked. There we go. Beautiful little pike. Slipping back quickly. The future of the pike in this canal they are. So need to look after those because the pike numbers are really declining with people killing them at the minute. So thank you guys for watching this video. This was a video that was requested by a few people, hence why I did it today, just to go through the setup that I use and the technique that I use to catch lots and lots of small fish on the canal, because it can be a really fun way to get out there, especially if you're on a blanking street from, let's say, pike fishing or big perch fishing, and just go out and get some fish on the bank with the laws. It can be a really, really effective method. So like I say, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to watch more. Hit the like button if you like the video. Check out my Instagram and maybe my Facebook page in the description below. And I'll catch you guys later.